I miss Mandy, and I'm looking forward to learning more about God with you today. Boys and girls, God loves people, and he gives them rules to live by. God is good, and his rules are good. God made everything, so he knows how life works best. In our Bible story today, God's people were not obeying him. So he sent a messenger to talk to them. He did this because he is good and he loves his people. You know, God's people in the Bible are no different than God's people today. No different from you and no different from me either. So he has given us his true word, the Bible, to talk to us, to teach us about how he wants us to live. And not only does the Bible teach us how to obey, it tells us about how good God is and how much he loves you and he loves me. So since our Bible story today is about obeying, let's put our arms up in a big circle and sing our song about obeying. Are you ready? O is for obey. O is for obey. Obey is doing what you should. O is for obey. Okay, now I'm going to put my hands like this. Can you join me? Here is a beehive. Where are all the bees? Hidden inside where nobody sees. Bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. Soon they come creeping out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. All right, boys and girls, can you open them, shut them, open them, shut them, give a little clap, open them, shut them, open them, shut them, fold them in your lap. We get to talk to God right now. Let's close our eyes. Hello, good, good Father. It's who you are. You are good in all that you do and in all that you are. Thank you for loving us enough to give us rules to live by. Thank you for helping us to obey those rules. Thank you for your true word, the Bible. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray and believe. Amen. All right, boys and girls. Well, of course, I have my Bible today because our story comes from the Bible. We are in the book of Micah this week, the last book of the Old Testament, the back half of the Bible. Beginning next week, we're going to be in the New Testament, where we are going to learn more about Jesus. I'm so excited. But before we begin with that, we're going to go back to Malachi. Now, God's people, the Jewish people, had been in their promised land where after they had left Babylon, for about a hundred years. And they had worked hard to fix the walls and the temple. Remember we learned about how they built that and God helped them? Well, now the people, they were ready for God to bless them. They thought because they had done these things that God would bless them with money and things. And they waited and they waited some more, but nothing happened. And some of the people were sad. And they began to wonder, does God even really love us? Well, boys and girls, God did love his people. They had been doing wrong things. And God wants his people to obey him. So because God is good, he sent a prophet named Malachi to come and talk to his people. Remember, a prophet is someone who speaks to God's people from God. God gives them the words to say. So God gave Malachi a message. And then Malachi told the people what God said. Malachi told the people what they had been doing wrong. You see, the priests and the leaders they were not teaching the people the truth about God. They were not giving God their very best. They were giving him the leftovers. 
and the sick and the hurt animals they were using as sacrifices. And that's not what God told them to do. And the priests, they were supposed to teach the people about God. And they were teaching things that were not true. Some of the people had forgot that everything they had came from God. Their money, their food, their things. They didn't share. They kept it all to themselves. And they forgot about God. So Malachi told the people that they were doing these wrong things. They were not obeying. So then he gave them a warning from God. He said that a day was coming when God would judge the people on earth. God told Malachi, I'm going to send my messenger and he will get people ready for me. You see, the messenger God was going to send would have a very big job. That messenger's job was to tell the people that someone even greater was coming. They were to get ready because Jesus, the Messiah, the promised one, was coming. This message would be one of God's special messengers that he had promised to send. So Malachi told the people what they were doing wrong and told them that God was warning them so that they could repent and God would forgive them. God told Malachi, a day is coming when everyone who is wicked will be punished. Then they will see it is good to serve the one true God and not the pretend gods, not serve themselves, but to serve God and God alone. You see, Malachi was a messenger for God and he had a message about a messenger, another messenger that was to come. And we are going to learn in the next few weeks about that messenger. And his name was John the Baptist. He was a cousin of Jesus. But John had a very special job, and that was to get the people ready for Jesus. Jesus, God's son, was coming, and the people needed to get ready for him. Jesus came to rescue people from sin and take away the punishment from sin. All right, boys and girls, thank you for listening so well to our story today. Are you ready for some questions? All right. Well, our first question, question number one, what true book did our story come from today? The Bible. That's right, the Bible. All right, question number two. God sent a messenger to God's people to talk to them. What was his name? Malachi. God sent Malachi to talk to his people. So Malachi told the people what they were doing was wrong and they needed to repent. He also told them that another messenger was coming to get people ready for the Messiah, ready for Jesus. So question number three, what did Malachi tell the people? Yes, he told them what they had been doing wrong and to get ready. That's right. All right. Boys and girls, God is so good. He was so good to warn the people so that they had the opportunity to tell God they were sorry for disobeying. Boys and girls, God is always good and his rules are good. So my last question, question number four, where do we find God's rules for how to live today? Where do we learn that God is good and that he loves us? In the Bible. That's right. We learn all about that in God.
God's Word. And the last part this morning, we're going to go over our scripture verse, which talks about God's goodness. It talks about His good plan for His people. So this is the last week with a scripture verse from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. All right, hopefully most of you know this verse by now. So join me in saying Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. God had a good plan for his people because God is good. And so he warned his people that they were not obeying and how to turn back and to do the right things. So let's say our verse again. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Boys and girls, God has a good plan for you too as well. And God has a good plan for me. So I am praying this week that you will know God is good. All right. Till next time. Bye-bye.